Right then, I was just going to cover this up, uh, but you know what? I've got to show you this stuff. So, back end is rebuilt. Look at this new wheel. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? They're absolutely cracking, both of them. Uh, the front, as you notice, is still missing because I took it over to Kobe Kawasaki uh, to uh, get that A1 Road Rider put on it. So yeah, and there's the tyre that came with it. Look at it. It's, you know, it's it's going to need a bit of working in. Be careful on it. Um, but uh, tread-wise, and there's no cracks in it. It'll do for now. There's the exhaust that we rebuilt the hanger on, and the. I mean, just look at this back end now. Anyway, let me just back up a bit. Look at that. <laughs> I haven't even started polishing it yet. It just. Yeah. They just built that right, didn't they? Anyway, so we got our uh, we got our V65 Magna springs back on it. A nice shiny wheel. Now I understand why they chromed it. So, on the other one, I just couldn't get it because it was so crackled and just didn't look nice. But uh, yeah, it looks nice. Uh, we'll get all this polished up. So there's supposed to be a piece of trim that goes between there and uh, where the head is. Because the head is, you can't really tell because they're, uh, they're all burnt up. But get some wire wool on them they'll come up uh, they'll come up all shiny um, well this one won't it's got a flipping get dent in it but yeah well but yeah so there's supposed to be a piece of trim that connects there which is what those bolts that are cut off anyway so we've got the I've put a bit of exhaust paste in there just to make sure but um, I've got the, the stainless um, piece that's gone over the remains of the collector box that's all clamped in nice with a bit of exhaust paste underneath it this hasn't got any of that nonsense it's just got the fiber washer inside brand new fiber washer and a clamp over that two inch piece and then we got the hanger that my mate rebuilt for me so from what it looked like when we got it it looks almost the same as when we picked it up except down here that would have been rusty but now it's all fixed so everything works there everything's as it should be everything's greased as it should be i set the preload on that bearing done that uh, i just want to check the torque on the other side but my i need a bigger torque wrench to do it uh, we're still resting on a trolley jack which i don't like and then very precariously on blocks and i keep coming out and the trolley jack's gone down a little bit and it's stood on the blocks and yeah, so far they haven't moved but I mean look it's it's starting to bend backwards and stuff so I'm just not happy about it being on them it just feels like it's gonna spit them out um, I've got a feeling it's starting to tilt forward so I'm gonna do something about that but then I also needed to show you this look at that thing of beauty now bearing in mind the chap that did this for me has done it all by hand uh, and all he did was to take an impression off the plate. Now we, if we were going to do this again there's one change that we'd make. He scalloped these out just by touch and feel just by yeah that feels about right to me but we, we said next time we'd actually follow the contour of that inner line on here um, around here. And if you look, there's just a very slight gap where he's scrubbed that in. But that's fine, I don't mind that. You can't really tell without getting closer in, but this is kind of dog boned as well, so it goes in here. Um, and look at this finish. Look at that. It's awesome. Uh, I need to, these were just uh, some bolts we had, but these are not stainless, so I'm going to swap those out for stainless, which is why they. One, why they look a different colour, and two, I'm not leaving them in there to rust. But look at that. That is 10mm stainless, and it's really solid stuff as well. Um, this thing here is actually braced 
around the back as well. So it's not just, which is why the, you can just about see the weld line there, but I mean, that's some neat ass. Look at that tigging. That is a thing of beauty. So yeah, we're doing probably the same as that, but just change this so that that came out and followed that outer line of this bottom piece. That's the only change we'd make, I think. The rest of it is just luscious. So we're almost there. We just got to get that front wheel back uh, with its nice new tire on and then just rebuild that piece. Then we can start her up and uh, get on with the next stage of what might be happening. Right, there you go.